You've seen the commercial. A group of business people sitting around a conference table sounding like a bunch of kids eating gummy bears. After laughing a bit, because it is funny, I started to worry about the impact this sugary treat was going to have. This video will tell you why I'm worried. This jelly textured candy was invented in 1922 by a German, Hans Riegel, and it's still a craze today. But should you be eating them at all? Gummi bar means small rubber bears in German. The jelly rubber like texture of gummy bears comes from gelatin. The gelatin in gummy bears is likely pork, bones, muscles. According to this pie chart, pork is used 44% of the time in gelatin production. Cow gelatin is usually listed as bovine gelatin. Sugar overload. These sugars, corn syrup and dextrose, both derive from genetically modified corn. The other sugar is likely beet sugar, also genetically modified. Unless it says cane sugar on the label, it's usually beet sugar. More genetically modified corn ingredients, corn starch and citric acid. Not good. <sighs> like a little car polish in your candy treat? Carnauba wax makes gummy bears nice and shiny too. Ew. Just because the United States approves these artificial colors and flavorings doesn't mean they're safe. Yellow number five, blue number one, and red number 40 from crushed cochineal beetles? Yuck! The hazards are many. Yellow number five may cause allergic reactions such as asthma, can cause hyperactivity in some children, behavioral changes, loss of concentration, blurred vision, migraines, fatigue, anxiety. Blue number one can lead to ADHD, allergies, and asthma. And red number 40 can cause hypersensitivity, swelling around the mouth and hives, can contribute to some cancers, and can cause hyperactivity in children. Checking all labels for these attitudes would be wise. It's a cute commercial, but let's just say no to Haribo. The health risks outweigh the fun of eating them. I hope you find this information helpful. Tips to heal. Thanks for watching. Blessings.